Welcome in beautiful travelers. I'm Maria at Indigo Earth. I'm here to do a reading for our Earth Signs Taurus. Welcome in Tarians. Good to have you here. Welcome in cross watchers. Feel free to swap around the characters as need be throughout the reading. Anytime you come across this message and you were drawn into it was the time that you were meant to listen to it. Messages that come through these readings should reflect or should um, resonate with some aspect of your current situation as well as confirm a deep inner knowing or something within your intuition that you are already kind of like feeling or thinking about should be confirmation feel free to also look at your moon sign your ascendant sign or your rising sign so take what resonates and leave what doesn't I will have an extended at the end of this video where I'll dive deeper into the message. I will also look at any zodiac signs that show up within your reading as well. And for those of you that are supporting the channel, thank you for liking and subscribing to help the channel grow so other Tereans can get the message that might be needed for them. It is honored, your support is honored, and your support is appreciated. So this is a message for Taurus, message for those watching. Message for Taurus, please. Message for those watching. Message for Taurus, please. Message for those watching. All right, here we go. Get settled. All right, overall energy for the reading, 10 of cups. That's a good, happy card. Um, things are in flow, things are, things are right where they should be. You're in a good place, financially, emotionally, spiritually. And earthly <laughs> things are just flowing it's a, it's a it's a great time to be alive um, your situation right now knight of wands got some inspired inspiration um, aspiration maybe some things that you were hoping for or wishing for are, are coming in are coming true for you right now you're starting to see them show up in your life your opportunity five of Pentacles this could be humility working on some humility, maybe releasing some things that don't belong to you or don't, um, not that don't belong to you, releasing some things maybe that just no longer work for you. This could be like simplifying your life. Um, and, or how you got here. Six of Cups. This could be something from the past. could have something to do with family. It could have something to do with... Um, children could have something to do with aging parents but this is kind of about maturity what's behind you now hanged man well that's good feeling stuck being cocooned that's behind you now what the universe is co-creating with you we got the ten of swords Mm, maybe surrender this could be also be exhaustion the worst is behind you energy's coming in the magician having the, the ability to create your life the way you want to create it your concerns in this situation the King of Swords. Could be judgment. Could be anger. Could be feeling like maybe there were things, some things done were unjust. Could just be judgment in general. Um... What needs to be addressed or what's right in front of you? 
four of wands this could have something to do with the commitment made or some sort of um, staple this could have something to do maybe with retirement or somebody's getting married or engaged or there's a birth coming a baby these are kind of the milestones that kind of produce change in our lives graduation retirement getting a new job moving blended families could be a number of things you you know what that is <clears throat> what you really want got the chariot to be able to do what you freely want to do what you freely desire what's really in your heart to do and possibilities for future possibilities we have the five of wands this just could be a, um, a lot of connection of people coming in your life diversity of people coming in your life various people maybe from various cultures or this could be various people just you know with different characteristics different personality types and this could be learning how to work through conflict learning learning how to agree to disagree or um, you know something as simple as somebody wants to vacation in Europe and somebody else wants to take a stay vacation and stay home and get some projects done so it's learning compromise so you're in a good flow here you're in a good flow here I think there's been some things maybe that have come into your life that have kind of put you in a position to release some things that probably were like cluttering your life or blocking your life or blocking energy some things had to be like cleared out or released so you could feel freely to move forward or you know like wanting to take a breath of fresh air like cleaning out the garage and getting all the stuff in there that you don't need anymore or that other people could use so you can park your car in the garage or park two cars in the garage or put a new boat in the garage so let's see where we go with this for you today let's find out what this five of pentacles is this is your opportunity got the nine of wands We got the star, so two opposite energies there. And we got the three of pentacles. So it looks like you've done some healing work in facing your fears. This could be facing fears about or worries about maybe that might be abandonment issues. Or it could be some humility by, you know, you're finding that service to other people or helping other people or collaborating with other people. Um, finding a mentor is bringing you healing. This could be working with counselors or working with, you know, um, maybe you're in the service industry could be doing a nonprofit. It's really, really easing a lot of your fears and bringing in, or a lot of your worries maybe about um, maybe some things that have been removed in your life. It, it's helping alleviate some of that. Could be working with others that quote unquote might be less fortunate whatever that is could be coaching um, but whatever it is it's in collaboration it's building something it's working together finding a common goal a common reason for where people are together for the, the good the good of the cause and it's it's bringing in some healing work and it's it's alleviating some of the fear some of the worries maybe that you had. 
maybe some of your thoughts about trying to take control of your life in some way, shape, or form. So let's see what the Six of Cups is. This is what got you here. got Aquarius energy coming in. We got air energy here, Gemini. And we got Cancer. Four of Pentacles. So maybe hanging on to some things that were um, not serving you anymore or just really weren't doing any justice in your life sometimes this is hanging on to like you know material things clutter you may have cleared some things out lately maybe you're making room for children to come in or maybe a relative or an aging adult queen of cups yeah opening up Give me one more, please. Seven of Cups. Changing your perspective. You know, you may have been hanging on, you know, Four of Pentacles, that's like material stuff. You may have been hanging on to something, some things that just were, it's almost like hoarding, that were just, you know, causing blockages. And, and I think you've opened up and kind of changed your perception, broadened your perception a little bit. That's what got you here. <clears throat> Could be, you know, it has something here to do with family. This could also have something to do with a, uh, a soul connection as well. Maybe a soul connection opened up your heart to kind of like physically remove some things that just were no longer needed. And it's really broadened your perspective. It's given you a lot more choices in your life. So let's see what the Ten of Swords is. Maybe it brought in some humility. Maybe you get, gave up trying to hold on to things that just weren't doing any good in your life. They were holding you down, weighing you down. That was the word I was looking for, weighing. We got the Three of Wands. We got the Hermit. So doing some soul searching. Maybe trying to see things differently. Maybe wanting other things to show up in your life so you're, you're clearing out things that don't serve you so new energies can come in maybe you've kind of just surrendered to the journey and allow it to take its place give me one more please the sun starting to see clearly Well, you might have opened up your life a little bit more here that you, you know, you may be offering in some things that in the past you may have been closed off to. Um, you know, there's, there's maturity here. There's growth. There's definitely growth. You're wanting new things to enter your life. You, you've definitely done some soul searching. It looks like you've kind of like surrendered to the journey. And you're definitely being backed. Like you're starting to see clearly now. The fog's been lifted. Because look how dark the hermit is. And then how light the sun is. Like, you're, like there's light at the end of the tunnel here. You're starting to see it. <clears throat> so let's see what the magician is. This is energies that are coming in.
So, my video froze up. Um, we're clarifying the magician here, and we've got um, the wise one showed up. That's you, the Hierophant. Taurus energy. So you're gaining wisdom. You're gaining wisdom here. Could be seeking higher counsel. Could be seeking um, spiritual counsel. Maybe you're learning some things in the etheric realm. Meditation. Quantum healing. Energy healing. But you're definitely gaining wisdom. We have the hermit. So seeking inside. And we have the Five of Pentacles again. And we have the Four of Coins. So these have already shown up. So whatever this is that you're doing, it's, it's, you're searching for inner guidance. You're starting to like maybe really search inside yourself. You're trying to make changes here. And you're definitely making changes. You're gaining a lot of wisdom. You're gaining a lot of insight. Maybe you're understanding some of the things that you had been hanging on to in the past, like, you know, abandonment or feeling lonely. Maybe you've learned some humility. Maybe you're at that point now where you're ready to release a lot of these energies. They're just not working for you anymore. Give me one more on this. Yeah, strength. Finding the courage to be able to release a lot of this stuff and face it. You're definitely changing things around. So we got Leo here too. We've got Virgo. We've got you and we've got Gemini. So let's find out what this King of Swords is. This is your concern regarding this situation. Ace of Wands. Five of Swords, King of Cups. Well, I think the concern here is that opening up too fast. Um, might cause some inner, not conflict, but like inner where you're, you're resisting yourself, like resistance. That opening up too fast, it, it, you know, it might be too much all at once. It might cause you to retreat and kind of fight back. That maybe you might be judged could also be fear of rejection that opening up too fast you could be judged be rejected in opening up to your emotions too because the king of swords kind of is not very emotional working more from a head space than a heart space and there it looks like there might be conflict between there might be kind of a battle between the head and the heart right here. Maybe in the past you worked too much in your head. Now this is a whole new area you're coming into where you're really starting to open up and work more from a heart space. And it might be going a little too fast. They're kind of at war with each other because they, they haven't quite blended together yet. This is a new arena that you're experiencing. So there, there's concern here about that. So let's see what the Four of Wands is. So 
clarify the four of wands, please, for Taurus? We got the Ace of Coins, so this is a new beginning in something. We got the Five of Wands, it's very challenging. And we got the Devil. Well, that's Capricorn energy coming in. This could be just a simple fact that the challenge, you might have challenges and commitments. I think you like the notion of new beginnings, um, and I think there's challenges and blocks when it comes to commitments. There's fear here, because we got the devil. The devil is, you know, fear. Blockages. Things that hold you back. Commitment might be one of them. And other people might see this in you as well. They might see that, you know, there are challenges in commitments. Although new beginnings start, um, they kind of seem to end up more in conflict. But you've got the five of wands here and you got the five of wands here. So this is really about learning how to work through different conflicts, how to work through different challenges. What, cha what is the meaning of challenge? Like, right, iron sharpens iron. They're there, they're there, that contradictory is there to help you grow. Because you cannot know daylight unless you knew what night was. You cannot know, I mean, at least in this 3D world, right? It's duality. Everything's got an opposite. So you cannot know its opposite unless you know, it's like you can't know what you don't, what you do want until you know what you don't, what doesn't work. So there's kind of some blockages there with this. Can you give me one more on that? But you are ready to move forward. This is what you really want. You are ready to move forward. You may feel a little bit stuck in a situation maybe. You want a new beginning. But you may, may feel like you made a commitment So you're ready to release a lot of that. Whatever goes along with that commitment, it's like you're ready to release a lot of that because you want to go for your, your happiness. And you're finding the courage and the strength and you're facing some of the fears of, you know, maybe being alone, standing on your own two feet, letting go of things that you've been hanging on to out of fear. You're starting to open up your perception. And it starts with maybe even just the little things like clearing out your closet. Closet doesn't work, that don't, either don't fit you anymore, like after COVID, right? That don't fit you anymore or, um, and, and giving them to service, something in service. Or, you know, say you have old bikes in the garage that just really aren't working, getting them fixed and giving them to, um, giving them to maybe students you know who need bikes it starts with those little simple acts and then it kind of grows and it gets bigger seven of cups perception and you open up as you go with these little acts so whatever this commitment was over here these are kind of two separate energies actually but whatever this commitment was, it looks like you're trying to take the steps necessary to release yourself from it. And you're starting to face the fears about it. So let's see what the chariot is. This is what you really want. It's cancer energy. We got the page of coins. So you're thinking about things. You're thinking about things. Maybe learning something. Maybe starting a project. Maybe taking on like a, 
a craft, maybe taking on like a, um, some sort of mastery or something, you're thinking about it. And, and you're, you're, I mean, you got the page of, page of pentacles and the page of cups. So this is like expecting the unexpected, wanting a miracle. Wanting a miracle so you can move forward and doing what you really, really want to do. It's dreaming again. It's opening up to your psych. It's opening up to your hopes. It's opening up to your visions. You want to take action. That's what you really hope for. You might feel like there's a lot of blockages in the way, but you're working on clearing that out and you're we're working on surrendering to this journey, right? You're working on surrendering to this journey and it looks like you're working on, on humility. You're going to start taking some action on really working towards humility. We got the three of coins again, so that's collaboration, working in service, working with others, finding mentors, and we got the three of wands, a lot of threes, wanting something else. Might be having to see the obstacles in a different way now. You want change, the world. Yeah. Obstacles are there to help sharpen your focus. But you got a lot of threes here. That is about expansion and growth. It's growing up, growing. So this could be, too, about facing, your, facing those obstacles, facing the things that that um, it looks like you're going forward to do that. You might need to ask for help. Might need to ask for help. Might need to set different visions. If you want a different outcome, you gotta set different, a different trajectory. You want something to change. And it's, it's gonna be challenging. It's gonna be challenging. But the good news is, the worst is over, right? You're gonna start seeing clearly and you got the Ten of Cups right here. It's in your grasp. So, a lot showed up here for you. We've got Aquarius. Yep, we got Aquarius. We got Pisces. We got Leo. We got Virgo, we got you, we got Gemini, we got Capricorn, we got Aquarius again. So I will look at those in the extended as well as actions and advice for you. For those of you not going on, let's get a message to you. Something you can deal with, some, deal with, something that you can, is tangible, that you can put in your hand and work with the energies. This is from the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle Deck by Judy Hall. So divine guidance please for Taurus. Waiting to see what pops out instead of picking it. 
Come on. You can do this. gemstone there we go lavender aragonite aragonite lavender aragonite environmental healing Lavender aragonite heals your personal environment and Earth's meridian grid and raises the vibration of the planet. Become comfortable in your own body and your own environment. You incarnated to be a guardian for the planet. You are a vehicle for purifying and healing the Earth, reminding others that it is a sacred living being to be treated with respect. Pay attention to where you live within yourself. Do your inner housekeeping and nurture yourself. Become a vehicle for the healing of the environment by opening yourself to higher vibrational energies. Do not participate in anything that despoils the planet or diminishes its resources. Work with your power animal and nourish your inner being. Take no risks and avoid excesses. Your healing insight. If your environment is unhealthy and disharmonious, it cannot support well-being. Transform it and well-being returns. Soul path, healing the environment. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this helped. And until next time, may the peace that passes all understanding embody the essence of your being. For those of you going on, the link is in the description box below. And I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.